heel slides. Let's come down, remembering to go onto your side and roll over. Now, in this position, you have already learned to breathe under a brace. So you know how to inhale into your back, exhale, pull up your pelvic floor, pull up your belly button, hold this brace here and be able to inhale and exhale with a very shallow movement. Now, we're going to keep that same brace on the front of your core as you do the heel slide. So as you slide it down and back, slide it down and back. Now, nothing moves in the front of the core, nothing moves in your back either. So when you slide, this does not happen. We don't get this arch in our back and we don't rock it down. Because when you rock it back, that's when you grip your ribs and bear down. So the movement, you can put your hand on your ribs and uh, pelvis if you want, so on your hip bones. The movement slides out and in, out and in. And it's just the leg that moves, you breathe throughout. Now, the breathing can be either inhale as you go out, making sure that your back goes to the ground and this stops you from doing that position. And then exhale, pulling up a little bit more with the pelvic floor as you come in. Or if you find it harder to control your core as you slide out, you can exhale and then inhale as you come back in. It doesn't matter which you do, you use the exhale for the part that you find the hardest. For me, I inhale as I go out to keep my back going to the ground on that extension, and then I exhale pulling up from my pelvic floor as I come back in. But it really doesn't matter as long as there's no doming, bulging, and you don't rip flare and move, rock your hips as you do it.